Does she don't look that bad. <laughs> she doesn't. Hey everybody, it's the Doll Circle, and thank you so much to Jada Toys for sending me this doll for free today to share with all of you. So this doll here is Be Kind. It's Be Kind is the name of the line, the letter B, and then kind right after it. And they sent me one today. There are more in the series. But one thing that stands out about this brand is that they are eco-friendly. So the doll and the box itself, I love the box. It actually feels and looks still very stylish for being a recyclable made packaging. Recyclable made, pa recyc recyclable packaging. <gasps> words, words. So what I really love about this doll line, it actually touches a real place in my heart because me being vegan and also trying to be as recycle friendly as I can be to the world, this doll has all of that covered. The doll itself and the clothing and the box is recyclable materials and also even the ink on the box is soy based. So they thought about everything when producing this product and so to me it's very aware of what's going on in the world right now and that's something that's really important to teach not only kids, but as collectors as well, we can be very, unfortunately, wasteful with a lot of doll brands out there, not naming any, that have so much plastic on it. I can't say anything, I'm guilty of buying a lot of those dolls, but at least with this doll line, it gives you a little bit of sense of relief that they are very conscious and aware of what they are doing. Now there's five in this line, this one is Nora. And let me read a little bit of Nora. She loves adventure, loves going to new places. She loves food, activities, and her favorite color is sunset orange, it says here. I love that. And her birthday's in September, like me. <laughs> My birthday's in September. I celebrate all month long. It's a fabulous little party. Um, I think she's really cute, and I'm surprised. I'm kind of taken back by her height, because in the pictures, it doesn't, you obviously in a picture, you can't really tell how tall a doll is. So I was like, oh, she's gonna be like a normal 12 inch doll, but she's actually a lot taller, and I'm gonna have to get, I have a measuring tape here, so when I take her out, I'm gonna measure her. I think she might be 14 inches, which is a very interesting height. We've seen that before with Glitter Girls, and with, oh my gosh, I forgot, Ruby Red Friends. And so there's a few out there that are in that like middle ground height, a little bit more, but I really, I don't know, something about her I was I'm I'm surprised how much I like her in person more than the pictures I feel like the pictures didn't give her justice I'll put it that way she is for six plus she is eco-friendly the paper is eco-friendly you can decorate the purse it comes with little accessories I can't wait to get this out of the box let me show you the back and the five other dolls or four other dolls that you can get there's the four including Nora would be five for the series comment if there's a favorite in the series that you like so you can pause this stare at them for a while <laughs> and it has a lot of cool information here on the side where it says like her birthday is September 21st which is International Day of Peace I did not know that now I do uh, <laughs> divide waste baskets into trout you know so it teaches you like a little little bit about helping out the planet important information also says here you can customize her bag make a little bead string extent oh a little hair clip extension and then you can decorate her hat as well and it says we are be kind we believe that being kind to each other and to the environment is so important and i cannot agree more so with all of that being said let's get her out of the package and take a closer look Oh, and as I was about to cut this out, look, the ribbon at the top you can reuse for either like it says a hair tie or a bracelet or something like, it's actually a really cute material and it like has little paw prints on it. So even the handle is reusable. All right, so I got her out of the package and oh, I forgot to mention she does retail for $29.97, $29.97 I think is like what I saw her because I saw her on uh, Walmart's website already. And then it was so funny, like yes, was yesterday I was toy hunting and I randomly walked by and I saw not her, one of the other characters there. So they are supposed to be set to come out July 20th is what they told me, but I guess they're already kind of popping up in stores. But for $30, you're getting a recyclable doll that honestly like, to me, I, whether you're eco-friendly or not, I feel like just being, you know, she's a cute doll. <laughs> she's a cute doll in general, but I just love the message with it. And she has a decent amount of hair. So let's start from the top to the bottom. We'll go through the accessories. Um, her hair is very, very soft. Um, is it the thickest rooted? Honestly, pretty good pretty good and we know I'm pretty picky about the rooting on the hair I do like the color I like that it's very very like velvety black with the baby pink highlight mixed in with like little braids coming on the top it's cute and then little and then little pieces of pink around framing her face which I feel like is very in right now I feel like I see that on TikTok all the time <laughs> I feel like so many people are doing that look and I remember doing that look a long time ago so I was kind of like oh, is it coming back I'm living for it so I love the little pieces like that now she does have Let's give a close up here for her face. 
a unique face. Most dolls, you know, when you think their rounded face a little bit more flatter, she actually has a really good profile there. Let me move her hair back to the side. Shano almost gives me uh, Shubujuku doll vibes. Remember those? Which has only been a couple years ago, but it's so crazy that they've been gone so long. Uh, kind of gives me that kind of profile. She does have a beautiful flower earring. I like her eyes. I don't like there's like glitter chunks on the top, if you can see that. Not a fan of the chunky glitter, but I like her eyes. I like there's little hearts in them. Honestly, again, in person, much prettier than the picture. I love that, which is normally the other way around for dolls and people. Um, <laughs> normally it's the other way around with that, but I really like her eyes are like almost like screen printed painted on, but I don't know, something about them, they look very, very sweet. Her lip color and her cheek color is, is very neutral, natural colored, but just I don't know, just enough. I think it's really, really pretty. She does have this cute little shirt with a rainbow and the pleated skirt here. And I love the little rainbow on it. It says, be brave. She has little smiley face socks and pink. Are they platform? No, wedge, wedge. There you go. Wedge tennis shoes. The shoes, um, I don't really personally like the shoes. Maybe if I go in and paint them, like a little detail, I think they'll look a little bit better. But I like the socks and I like the outfit. What blew me away was, I didn't realize how articulated she is. She's pretty articulated for being, you know, a $30 doll in a taller range height. And also for being something like, you know, we've seen Zini dolls, for example, in the past, and they were pushing the whole like, they're eco-friendly recycle, but then they were like $50 and they were a little bit more higher price. So it's like the average consumer parent maybe wouldn't want to spend that much on an eco-friendly doll unless they were like, you know, very much for that message. With this doll, she's just so pretty. I feel like people, regardless of whether they're, you know, going for the eco-friendly aspect of the doll or not, I feel like $30 is a decent price point for what I'm looking at right now. Um, I, she doesn't have no articulation in the ankles, but she can look, pivot her whole leg around so she can do some interesting poses. She can bend her knee, she can sit, and you know me about having dolls that are able to sit naturally. Like I hate when dolls are like seated and they're just like, like really uncomfortable looking. So she can sit perfectly. She does have articulation in the wrist and the elbows, not a made to move type of articulation or a three point articulation, just a two point, but still she's able to like hold things and move around and that is really, like I said, really nice for that, um, for, like I said, a $30 doll, which especially since dolls are going up in price just from plastic costs and everything, it's nice to know that they were able to do something in a environmentally friendly way and keep the price point at what dolls are kind of going for now in stores. And I just, I don't know, something about her, I just love the posing. Now let's get a measuring tape. We gotta check how tall she is, I forgot. All right, I got the measuring tape. Let's see how tall this doll is. All right, so I'm gonna lay her down flat gonna start at her shoes and at the peak of her head oh she's like a, she's a bizarre height it's almost 12 is it 12 and a half or 13 no 12 and a half interesting height hmm I wonder what clothes would fit her I see I was thinking of 14 but she's a 12 and a half bizarre I like it though hmm I don't know she is giving me Shibujuku vibes but I still really like it though. The, the hair needs to be a trim trim here. This is a little crazy. What's going on with this hair? That I'm not feeling. You know me and the choppy hair thing. Like what's, I don't know, it's just a lot. So this I'm gonna fix up. Now with the accessories she does come with, she comes with her little, is it a corgi? It's a little rainbow corgi pillow. Okay, this is adorable and it, like it says it's recycled. Look at that. And then we also have a brush that says be kind on it. Nice decent size brush. We also have a purse that you can decorate. And is it functional? You know, we love functional purse. Yes, it is. Oh, <laughs> as I drop it, a nice little ice cream purse that closes up here. Uh, see, I like, again, I like functional items, functional purse. She does have a cute little bucket hat, which is very in. I don't know if I could ever pull off that style. Not really for me, but she looks really cute in it though. Let's get this hat on you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> It's like she's ready for a day in the park. And then it does come with all these pieces to play with. Ooh, are these felted stickers? Oh yeah, look, they're stickers, but they're felted. That's so much fun. And then we also have different fabrics to play with. And then they also come, ooh, a little envelope. What's inside the envelope? Oh, that's cute. See, she sent us a little letter and it says, be yourself, best message, best message ever. And then we also have, ooh, little string beads and little flowers so you can clip stuff in your, in a little clip so you can make this and put this in your hair. I think a little kid would love that. Like, 
I may make it later. We'll see what ends up happening. <laughs> and then we have the little frame piece that goes with, let me read the instructions. It has a little DIY um, book where you can do your hat, hair extension, and more. And it has a little bit of a story, it tells about all the different contents that it comes with, which is really cute. I'm glad it explains things because sometimes I don't know what these are that they come with. Oh, it's a stencil. Oh, that's kind of cool. So here, let me show you what we can do. Oh, you can put it on the inside. Oh, that's cool. So like the inside of the ice cream on the purse can punch out and then you can put the fabric in there and then cut it. So you're literally like, here, let me show you that one. So you can literally design the purse. How nif, that's really, I was gonna say nifty. That's really nifty. <laughs> Haven't used that word in a long time. Uh, and then there's different ones for designing the hat. Okay. That's winning me. I like the crafts. The crafts are cute. And normally I'm not really a crafty person. Like I, I appreciate it, but I was thinking like, I always kind of do it from a perspective of like if I, when, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, um, would, would I play with it? Would I, what would I do with this? Right. And honestly, I, I think I like it. I would, I would play with it. I would definitely love the felted stickers on the hat. That would definitely win me a lot. Um, is this a look? What do we think? And I can, and I like the textures of everything. I can tell things are recycled, but I personally like that better because I know that it came from a, you know, it's like they're trying, they're trying to be safe and eco-friendly, which again, I keep, I've probably have said that word a thousand times in this video, but it is really important to be aware of what we are purchasing, buying and doing in this world. Cause uh, you know, we want to keep it safe for everybody. And I like that this company is being aware of that. And we're also getting, like I said, a doll for a $30 price point, which I was concerned originally. Cause when I, when anytime you hear anything like, Oh, we're trying to be eco-friendly, like just like being vegan, like they put the word vegan on something and then they can charge three times the price. I hate that. I really do. Like I, <laughs> as a vegan myself and have someone who has been very aware of things for a while now, it's like really upsetting when they're like, Hey, be healthy, but we're going to charge you 10 times the price. Just like with plus, it's like, Hey, we're going to be eco-friendly, but we're going to charge you a lot more. And I'm glad that this brand was aware of that and they didn't do that because like I said, for $29, you can go to most stores and you're going to end up spending $20, 30 for a doll. I mean, any, I mean, unless it's like a fashion use of Barbie or something like that. So I get a $10 price point. Most dolls are going to spend $20, $30. So I feel like this fits in that range and she's cute. I wonder what other clothes she fits into. That would be a good, like what to wear video to see what else she fits into because I'm not really sure what else I could redress her in. I'm interested to see what Jada decides to have in the future. Are they going to give us, you know, more fashion pack or give us any fashion packs, I guess, to begin with. Are they going to give us more dolls in the line? Are they going to redress these dolls and give them different, like each doll goes on a different like eco adventure. Like I'm wondering where they're going to go with this. I think what they're going to do is probably just test out and see how well they sell and then see what happens from there. Um, like I said, they are set to come out now. <laughs> We're looking this month right now. And I love her. I just noticed now look at the eyebrows, with that little hair detail in it. That's really nice. I love the little hair detail in that. I like her. I think she's so cute. I think I need to do a doll what to wear because we need to figure out what other fashion she can wear. So she might make a little reprise in another video. Also, I want to maybe do a doll showdown with other dolls in the size range. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> we know we love a good doll showdown. So I have so much planned for this doll. I really am excited to see what else this brand does with it. Um, again, there's like some things I wasn't too happy about. Like the shoes are a little boring and I don't really like the glitter around the eye. I feel like it takes away from the doll a little bit. But overall, I'm so happy with the articulation and the you know, again, I keep going back to old well, eco-friendly. Um, I hear that like it's, I don't know, the plastic doesn't, I was worried, I'll be honest with you, because Rob and I, if you listen to our podcast, our initial things were like, ooh, she looks a little, again, from the picture, was like, I don't know about the quality on it. Like, I'm glad that they're trying to be eco-friendly, but I'm like, mm. and now looking at it, like, I really like it. I'm surprised. I really genuinely am. Like, honestly, like for everything from her, you know, head mold to the body, it doesn't feel... It doesn't feel bad. All right, I'm gonna put it that way. It doesn't feel inexpensive. And that's what we were concerned about. We were like, I don't know. Like anytime they say something like, oh, we're gonna be environmental friendly, then they always make the dolls look so bad. And honestly, she don't look that bad. <laughs> she doesn't. All right, throw in the comments what you think of Nora from the Be Kind line. Thank you so much, Jada Toys, for sending me this doll to share with all of you for for free today, which I totally appreciate. Um, if, you like, if you want more of these, I did see them showing up at Walmart or their website, go online. You can order stuff online too. Um, the internet's is a thing, <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm interested. I hope Jada, you know, keeps in touch with me. I want, I, I kind of want all of them now. Now I'm looking, I'm like, they're all really cute. 
<laughs> I can interchange all their clothes and like see if they have other little hats and like I don't know I want to play around a little bit more with this doll line I'm I'm kind of enjoying it hmm. okay interested to like now like I said show me what you got in the comments below let me know what you're thinking feeling and then also make sure to check out all of my other content online whether it's my social media or it's just you know wanting to chat with me on the Facebook group or the podcast or the show hunting nostalgia that I work with my friend Nick on or if you just want to talk about this doll either way <laughs> or talk about veganism I'm all about it all right thanks for watching guys and thank you so much Jada Toys I really enjoyed this <laughs> bye